यू ट्राई टू बी द बेस्ट और उसमें चैलेंजेस आते रहते हैं चैलेंजेस को एड्रेस किए जाते हैं टूर्नामेंट अगेन सो फेलियर्स इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज दैट कीप्स यू ग्राउंडेड ऑल्सो आई थिंक in a country where cricket is religion and where every young boy dreams to play cricket for his country or as passion at some point in his life i wanted to speak to someone who lives through this all first as a cricketer and then as a team manager of mumbai indians a leading franchise in ipl possibly one of the biggest sporting event in the world rahul and i spoke about life and career that sports gives you how athletes respond to success and failure and the difficult path of being a sports person Well, welcome to questions I wanted to ask. Uh, I am so excited to have you. Somebody from the family talk to me about uh, cricket, which has got nothing to do with uh, you know the family has got nothing to do with sports or cricket at all. So I am really excited to hear about your journey and some of the learnings that you've had you know throughout your career. First of all, uh, thank you, Anshu, for calling me on your show. It's good to see you online, though we're not able to meet <laughs> physically. Um, the journey obviously as any young kid uh, cricket just came naturally because in school you would see the school team practicing and playing matches and all and as a kid i was interested uh, in the game so i remember um, i mean it all started in delhi when i from ahmedabad i was initially in years of schooling was in ahmedabad till class 7 and then we parents got uh, dad got transferred to delhi and then joined school in delhi which was sadar patel vidyalaya and they had a good team and after school the team would practice on a daily basis and play matches and fortunately my i mean where we were living was very close to the school walking distance so i would stay back after school and was excited uh, watching the school team practice and this and that and it just happened that one of the players which was ajay jadeja he huh. said he, he saw us someone sitting on the huh. bench and he wanted someone to throw balls at him so he said can you throw balls at me so i huh. bowled and he liked that then on a daily basis i would stay after school and bowl to him it happened for a couple of days and we came to know that the neighbors as well in the same area and mm-hmm. after a couple of days he said no no you don't bowl uh, like i used to bowl like kuldeep yadav at china man he said no no don't bowl like that bowl like a finger spinner and i tried that and it so happened that once i tried that in in 10 days 15 days i was playing for the school junior team and in a month's time i was playing for school senior team and anyways i was not that much into studies and i was to avoid uh, as much as possible so hmm. this was a good good avenue and then so it was like an outlet for you to uh, stay away from studies at that time yeah yeah so and i mean as a kid you enjoy playing sports yeah. and i did enjoy yeah. enjoy I, i did enjoy playing cricket i remember hmm. before uh, the delhi sadar patel vidyalaya even in amdabad uh, in zavier school we used to play cricket with tennis ball and uh, one of i mean the zavier has got a Uh, uh has got a school ground which has got a lot of trees so every tree mm. would be uh, in lunch break would be someone stumps and someone would be batting or bowling so that's how we used to play in in Xavier's but when i came here and i saw that uh, proper cricket team school cricket team and all and i was fascinated and after school i used to just sit and watch and it so happened coincidentally that everything started folding up for me uh so once i started playing it was i was like in a school junior team senior team and obviously in the school the cricket team was very popular oh that's the cricket team you know how it's in every school yeah, there's certain yeah. certain cool things cool thing to do huh? yeah cool thing hmm. to do and everyone is studying and you're doing something different huh? and i enjoyed it and then the journey started from there my coach was coach charan singh sir dronacharya wadi uh, hmm. uh and he was school coach as well as coach at the national stadium so mm. he saw something in me and he encouraged me and he encouraged uh, my parents as well because mm. obviously parents wanted me to study study in, in those days especially cricket. especially with your family background for sure yeah so those days obviously uh, i mean everyone thought that you only make your life through studying and then yeah. doing something further studies and then making life getting a job or something here and there but someone i mean uh, me playing cricket didn't go well with them and they no 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 but my coach was helpful in on that part and he encouraged no he's got some talent and let him continue and it so happened that one, once i started playing in a year or two i was playing for the state team and then the progression happened naturally so that's how all it started and then the career has been in cricket and even off the field after retirement it's still in cricket 
Hmm. But tell me something. I mean, uh, may if I go back to around 15 17 years back uh, when you were playing, right? Or when you just started playing, uh tab IPL nahi tha and uh matlab us time pe competition kya tha when when you were playing at that at the school level wagera was it like really mad competition kyunki uh, opportunities kam thi versus now ki ab jab IPL hai to opportunities you know ki you know if you really good you might get picked up at ipl and all of that so jab jab school mein jab hum khelte the to ye ye nahi tha ki aage jaake kya karenge to shock tha junoon tha ki cricket khel rahe hum log aur aage koi future koi sochta nahi tha is to usi time jab khel rahe school team ke liye khel rahe school mein popular ho aap aur uske baad steps started unfolding aisa nahi hai ki matlab seedha humko pata tha ki yaar maine cricket start kiya to main state ke liye khelunga main phir india ke liye khelunga ये सब तो बहुत बात की बात है कोई भी एक्टिविटी किसी के भी लाइफ में मैं पर्सनली बिलीव करता हूँ स्टार्ट होती है पैशन से किसी को जो चीज पसंद है वो उसमें करता रहता है इज वो करते रहना पड़ता है जो भी चीज आपको पसंद है तो आई थिंक मेरे लिए स्कूल में क्रिकेट वॉज एक तरीके से मुझे सेटिस्फेक्शन देता था एंड उसी बेसिस पे स्टार्ट हुआ एंड बच एज ए किड मुझे तो पता ही नहीं था कि आगे क्या क्या है वो तो जो आपका सराउंडिंग है इको है कोचिज है उन्होंने फिर आपको बताया कि अच्छा आप इतना अच्छा खेलते हो आपको अब इस टीम में खेलना चाहिए तो उन्होंने किसी टीम में डाला स्कूल के बाद क्लब टीम में डाला क्लब टीम के बाद जब क्लब टीम खेलने लगे तो स्टेट में लोग देखने लगे कि अच्छा खेलता है तो पता चला कि अच्छा स्टेट खेल सकते हैं स्टेट खेल सकते हैं तो पता चला कि स्टेट के आगे इंडिया जूनियर क्रिकेट खेल सकते हैं तो वो वो रास्ते अपने आप बनते जाते हैं बट सबसे पहले था कि एज एज ए किड आप स्कूल में सिर्फ खेलते हो क्योंकि आपको अच्छा लग रहा था प्लस स्कूल में इम्पोर्टेंस मिलती थी और वहां से शुरुआत सब कुछ हुई और आईपीएल आईपीएल तो उस टाइम था भी नहीं था भी और नहीं, उस टाइम कंपटीशन का तो एज ए जब आप खेलते हो आप सिर्फ जुनून है आप खेल रहे हो कंपटीशन और ये भावना तब आती है जब आप एक्चुअली उस सर्किट में आगे गए देन यू फील कि अरे इतने सारा कंपटीशन है प्रेशर बिल्डअप बट आप जब शुरू करते हो और जो इनिशियल जर्नी है इट इज ऑल आउट ऑफ पैशन एंड योर लाइकिंग एंड एंजॉयमेंट फॉर द गेम which takes you forward and then when you come to that level you're prepared because you've done so much of work uh, practices and played local level matches ki yeah, automatically you know what is happening in the circuit and mm-hmm. you're prepared to handle that tell me something i i actually want to hold on to that word junoon theek hai or passion jo bhi bolo uh, in a country of over a billion jahan par cricket is a religion for all of us i think somewhere wo junoon sab mein hai right kisi na kisi form mein में लेकर फॉर क्रिकेट राइट इधर जुनून देखने का है खेलने का है या अब आजकल यू नो टू डू ऑल दीज ऑनलाइन गेम्स एंड फैंटेसी गेमिंग एंड ऑल उसका भी एक एक बहुत ही अलग तरह का जुनून है राइट right? बट जब आप खेल रहे हो तो यू नो वॉट इज गोइंग ऑन योर हेड यू आर रियली लाइक एवरीबडी सब हर कोई पैशनेट होता है क्रिकेट खेलने के लिए वेन यू आर लाइक टेन एंड ट्वेल्व आई थिंक अ लॉट ऑफ दीज यंग यंग स्पेशली बॉयज वॉन्ट दे ऑल वॉन्ट टू दे ऑल ड्रीम ऑफ यू नो प्लेइंग फॉर द कंट्री एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट बट वो हाउ डू यू हैंडल दैट जुनून एंड एंड आई एम आस्किंग दिस बिकॉज दर सो मेनी यंग बॉयज हु ऑल ड्रीम ऑफ गोइंग इन टू क्रिकेट एंड यू नो प्लेइंग फॉर द कंट्री बट रियालिटी कई बार बहुत डिफरेंट होती है नहीं यू राइट अंशु की जुनून सब में है बट एक स्टेज आता है जब आपके जुनून से आपको पता चलता है कि आप इसमें आगे बढ़ पाओगे नहीं बढ़ पाओगे वो हर बच्चे के लाइफ में या हर इंसान के लाइफ में किसी भी फील्ड में जब वो कुछ करता है उसको पसंद है बट जब पता चलता है कि नहीं इससे मेरा आगे कुछ नहीं हो सकता देन वो ही टेक्स एन अदर स्टेप की आगे क्या करना है मेरे ख्याल से बच्चों से ज्यादा आज की डेट में माँ बाप में ज्यादा जुनून है कि मेरा बच्चा क्रिकेट हाँ। खेले बच्चे को तो शायद बच्चा तो सिर्फ एंजॉयमेंट के लिए खेल रहा है बट माँ बाप उसके दिमाग में बहुत सारी चीजें डाल देते बिकॉज उनका दिमाग में चोर है सो so, इसलिए लगता है कि हर किड को खेलना चाहिए बट आई थिंक जुनून जब होता है आप किसी भी चीज पैशनेट हो अगर आपको पेंटिंग पसंद है तो आप बचपन से शुरू करते हो तो धीरे धीरे आपका दिमाग खुद चलता है और उसमें आप क्रिएटिविटी एड करते जाते हो सेम मैं बिलीव करता हूँ कि हम लोग ने जब शुरू किया था तो शौक के लिए शुरू किया था तब इतना दिमाग नहीं था कि आगे क्या हो सकता है और आप खेलते थे बिकॉज मजा आता था और जब खेलते खेलते आप जब डिफरेंट सिचुएशंस गेम में होती है अपने आप आपका दिमाग चलने लगता है और आप एंजॉय कर रहे हो तो वो प्रेशर की तरह नहीं आ रहा कि अच्छा मेरे को छक्का पड़ गया तो आप आ, ये तो गलत है यार मुझे कुछ करना चाहिए आप गेम एंजॉय कर रहे हो कि आपको पता है कि आपको बताया गया कि छक्का भी पड़ेगा कोई आउट भी होगा रन बनेंगे तभी तो सौर अगर पचास ओवर खेल रहे हो तो तीन सौ रन इसलिए तो बनते कि आपको छक्का पड़ता है और एट ए टाइम आपको विकेट भी मिलती है तो वो आप जब खेलते खेलते आपको सब समझ में आता है और दिमाग अपने आप चलता है जब आपको कोई चीज पसंद है ऑटोमेटिकली आपका दिमाग चलने लगता है कि मैं इसमें बेटर कैसे हो जाऊंगा एंड जो बात रही कि सब खेलना चाहते हैं 
मैं भी बिजनेसमैन बनना चाहता हूँ बट मेरे में वो है नहीं बट आई नो दैट ये नहीं मेरे में गेम का वो है सो वो सबको रियलाइजेशन आता है एक टाइम पे कि मेरे लिए क्या सही है कई लोग होते हैं फॉर्चुनेट है जिनको जो पैशन है उसी में करियर बनता है कई लोग फॉर्चुनेट नहीं है बट दे फाइंड द पाथ कि मेरे लिए क्या पाथ है और साथ में जुनून जारी रखते हैं कि क्रिकेट चलो शाम को जब टाइम मिलेगा तब खेलेंगे या अभी संडे सैटरडे संडे खेलेंगे और अभी तक खेलते मेरे कितने फ्रेंड्स है जो फिफ्टी प्लस है लॉयर है कोई कुछ है अपना काम करते हैं बट सैटरडे संडे को आज भी क्रिकेट खेलते हैं क्योंकि बचपन से खेलते आ रहे हैं सो जो जुनून एक चीज है और आपका करियर एक चीज है और लोगों के लिए वो डिफरेंट होता है कि किसी को अपने जुनून या जो पैशन और जो चीज पसंद है उसी में करियर बन जाता है कई लोग ऐसे रियलाइज करते हैं सही टाइम पे या तो खुद या विद सपोर्ट सिस्टम अराउंड पेरेंट्स हो गए सराउंडिंग हो गए दोस्त लोग हो गए और वो दूसरा रास्ता भी उनको मिल जाता है बट वो जुनून जरूर रहता है जो चीज आपको बचपन से पसंद है वो आप जिंदगी भर करते हैं यू नो यू आर गुड यू गो एट अटन लेवल बट जब आप एक सर्टन कम्पेटिटिव स्पेस में आते हो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन योर केस एंड इट्स डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन दिस थिंग यू प्लेड फॉर अ लॉट ऑफ मैचेस इन फॉर इंडिया एट एन इंटरनेशनल लेवल एंड देन यू डिसाइडेड टू रिटायर राइट वॉट वॉज दट वॉट वॉज गोइंग ऑन एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम एंड आई नो अ लॉट ऑफ क्रिकेटर्स गो थ्रू दिस राइट एंड इट्स प्रॉबली नॉट ईजी uh it's probably probably one of the most hardest dis- de- decisions of your life right uh to say okay now i need to stop what is going on and at that point of time when you would have taken that decision us time pe ipl nahi tha i'm assuming right uh yeah that's true that's before ipl in fact i started after retirement i started working in ipl and that was uh-huh. also a conscious decision so uh, okay as a player i mean as a cricketer what i feel uh there's a phase every way you start how you start so it starts with passion it starts with your liking the game and yeah. then uh, then on its own i mean because you liking the game you playing the game and there there's a system around around the game jo aapko dekhta hai ki aap acche ho aapko aage khelna chahiye and then you continue playing and then you realize you in the circuit at sure. a junior level and once you in the circuit then it's a phase. step by step you know that what's next coming so if you're playing under 16 under 16 state khele to automatically jab aap perform karte rehte ho to under 19 mein नेक्स्ट स्टेप आता है अंडर 19 एंड आप खेले तो अंडर 23 आता है देन यू आर प्लेइंग फर्स्ट क्लास क्रिकेट एंड व्हेन यू आर प्लेइंग ऑल दिस सर्किट इज आल्सो इंडिया अंडर 19 एंड इन सो योर नेम इज देयर इन द सर्किट एंड यू प्रिपेयर अकॉर्डिंगली एंड वंस यू गेट इनटू दैट कॉम्पिटिटिव सर्किट यू नो व्हाट आर द स्टेप्स यू नीड टू टेक टू एक्सेल इन योर गेम कीप योरसेल्फ फिट एंड देन व्हेन यू प्ले फर्स्ट क्लास क्रिकेट और यू प्ले फॉर इंडिया आई मीन फॉर्चूनेट अनफॉर्चूनेटली आई डिडंट प्ले दैट मेनी गेम्स फॉर इंडिया आई जस्ट मेड अ मार्क इन इंडियन टीम and there's a phase initial phase where you settle down and then you become mature and responsible to perform you given responsibility to perform in the indian sure. team so sure. i i couldn't go through that phase i only played 10 one days and one test match so normally it's about 15 matches the initial phase where you settle down in a team and then slowly absorb the pressure and then you grow and then you come to a stage where you're playing 50 matches and the responsibility is on you to perform for the team and all that stuff So sure. the India level, I obviously I didn't reach that level, but in first class cricket. So as a kid, you start playing, then you come to first class level. First two years is when you settle down, and the seniors give you support, and and then once you settle down, you know that now you are required and you expected to perform, and that's that becomes your responsibility, and so that's the circuit requirement, and you prepare accordingly. Uh, you work on your body, you work on your game, on your skill sets. and you see whatever best way you can improve and try and achieve uh, aim higher goals which is playing for india or maybe after that an art is it was only state level cricket in india and unfortunately or unfortunately uh, though uh, first class cricket there were more than 500 cricketers playing but for the indian team only 15 could play so the mm. world only knew those, knew those 15 players but mm. fortunately now because of ipl uh, you have a larger yeah, pool so. of players visible in the circuit and then a lot many players are getting opportunity to play for india as well through the circuit because uh, suddenly everyone realizes that hang on a sec it's not just a 15 it's about 100 indian players who could actually compete at the international level with the top players and so we yeah. didn't have that but that's the phase of a cricketer when you start as a kid then you come to that level and then you you automatically realize uh, situations or your body start give you signal when it's huh. time to call it an end it is difficult to accept some players drag it and they come to a stage where where they should and should have ended but just because it was difficult to end the performances also started dropping the body started giving it so i think every player ko ek signal apne aap jab khelte rehte ho aur aap 10 12 15 saal khel chuke ho 
आपकी बॉडी आपकी माइंड ऑटोमेटिकली सिग्नल्स देती है कि अब आगे क्या मेरे केस में आई सो वेन आई प्लेड फर्स्ट क्लास क्रिकेट आई प्लेड इंडिया नाइनटीन सर्किट and i got into the delhi first class team and i played and then i got to play for india in, uh, in 98 uh, when i was 24 that time i played for india then i got dropped so the next step was to again fight it back and try and make a mark again yeah. and come in the indian team i did make a mark i came back in the indian team in 2001 but i had a uh, i had an injury and those days we didn't even have the ecosystem like uh, about to recover uh, treat, faster treat, treatments yeah. and we didn't have a physio we didn't have trainers it it was oh, not you didn't have physio and all all of that those days in the team we 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 didn't have anything we i mean our days there was no professional uh, science around the game where you know huh. you have physio now there is an army and, i suppose yeah so you pre- yeah. i mean those days you used to just prepare as per what the coach wanted or what he thought was right or wrong but there was no system scientific huh. way of training or scientific way of approaching your practice sessions or your matches or recovery so we didn't have anything so once i got the injury so uh, it was like my bowling arm and it was a tear and then i met a doctor he said oh it's a tear you need to rest and once it tear he really said now you can play but i was in the same there wasn't strength and the muscles were giving up so i went to england and i got uh, a rehab done under one of a prominent uh, a uh, physio called dale neller those days he was very popular and big in uh, uh, cricket worldwide and he said after the, after i've done what i have done but you need next one year uh, uh, consistent attention and a physio to manipulate and a strength program and this and which was not available in india so i realized that you know i'm not getting that uh, i was 29 that time when i got this injury i played for i made a comeback for india in 2001 i was in the test squad i played one test match i was drop but i was doing consistently well and i was thinking that i'll make a comeback again but this injury happened and i remember those days it also happened because those days weight training has started coming into cricket but we didn't have any system we had only those trainers in the gym who had no idea about uh, how to train for a, 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 as an athlete it was just mm. basically to sh- look good mm. uh, so i remember going through weight training which helped but you know in weight training also it's a science when to go up and then to go low when to lift more when to lift less repetitions and all of that when yeah when to rest so there was no concept yeah. there so you did what you thought right and that actually helped me in my game but it also helped me uh, it it also destroyed uh, my career as well to a certain extent that because i got that injury and there was no uh, uh, no line of treatment or no line of uh, people around uh, around the game to help you out with that uh, so jab wo hua so i tried playing cricket but back of my mind i knew i'm not the same so i was already looking at alternate uh, alternative uh, options. area where options where i can work and what i can do next because obviously by the time you are 29 30 you are married you have kids uh, you have more responsibilities you, you come from a marwadi family of course you wanted of course the pressure of settling down or whatever i don't know if you were married at that age but yes yeah. and do obviously cricket gave us uh, something i was employed in a public sector company but yeah. i had my dreams i had my aspirations i said if i play cricket and then after that i need i wanted bigger picture for my family and myself so all yeah. those things and knowing that your cricket is going down and your, your injury is not healing well and you had doubts so i was already looking at options and uh, that's how i think with every player at certain point they realize that okay it is coming to an end some players accept it and start looking at it. some players know that it is coming to an end but they don't know what to do continue but when they retire abruptly then they eventually find something so it is difficult to end it uh, because what you love what you've been doing all this while and as a player you know i mean from my example like when i was playing i never thought that i'll get old i never thought that i'll i'll be reaching 45 because that does never comes to your mind you always think you're young you are enjoying the glamour you enjoying the game you're working hard it's a different life compared to everyone else uh, working 9 to 5 and all and you're on a high and 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 because your body is there uh, body is always supporting you you're playing you work you will, i mean it's it's like uh, you you with a team then you play the game evenings you have fun you never feel that you'll get old you never yeah, feel I that mean, the this is going to continue build. huh and this happens with every player i think it is only it hits you once you are 30 plus and then suddenly your body starts giving up you have start getting injuries because till 25 26 hardly any injuries come whether you rest or you don't rest whether you work really hard or you don't work hard it is only after you played for certain time and then you're 30 plus 
your body starts giving different responses and then your mind starts accepting those responses and changes its emotions and thought process about oh god i don't think mm. this is happening to me now so as a youngster it never comes so the end is always different to everyone but uh, every player has his own way of observing it was tough for me i knew that yeah. it is i'm not the same i'm only 29 all my colleagues everyone is playing everywhere in fact when i retired as well i didn't retire i mean i was still playing and this ipl came up so i said let me give it a shot because i don't think i can play for long i could have yeah. actually put my name in the ipl auction first year but i said that won't help because i'm no. not the same bowler and i would be an embarrassment so i said let me look at something else yeah. so it it is always stuff i mean when taking a decision okay i'm going to stop playing and i'm going to uh, do something else which i'm not done at an early age it is difficult to ex- uh, adapt and your for your accept uh, brain mm. to ex- accept it and start working in that direction because what you learn at an early age is like comes naturally throughout your life but for mm. us from the early age till the age of 35 it's just been on the field playing cricket uh 6 it's hours actually a day. because you start so early as a sports person right you start maybe at 12 13 14 it's literally a lifetime that you have spent uh, yeah. living and, that lifestyle and, and most of the learning and exposure is through playing the game meeting people off the field traveling and all that so the learning is through that rather than uh, you know going through a proper uh, education program or then deciding a field and uh moving forward with that so sometimes after retirement it's kind of difficult for many players and yeah. i also went through that phase but as you said that end point when you decide when you think that it is the end and now you need to retire everyone gets those signals uh when they reach that stage as, as an athlete uh, and it's your body and mind starts giving those signals and mm-hmm. and then then you take a call whether to continue I or guess- not isn't it interesting that you know sports teaches you so many things about normal life because i think pretty much this same theory can be applied to everything else in life right if there's something if there is a career that you have chosen for yourself and it's not going the way you expect you start getting signals it's just that how how self aware you are to be able to accept it yes it's very difficult to accept because huh. you you always feel that you've done so well in a certain field how can i just huh. give it up i'm still there i can still compete so that you know because you've been wired in a certain way huh. and just to change that wiring and try a new wiring huh. it is difficult to accept always uh, tell me so so you know ipl like huh. came your way right uh at that time what how many years has it been sorry i'm very uh, not very so aware of involved, the i've been involved since inception which is since inception uh, to, 2008 and 2008 okay, so was my last year of uh, 12 to 13 cricket. years yeah so Were almost you 14 years scared when yeah. you first took that decision of going into ipl like oh my god it kya hoga or matlab dar tha and all of that like also did you visualize it this when you decided to take that team managers uh, is is that the right designation team managers for Mo- team manager for mumbai indians yeah, um, yeah call team manager but uh, it's like you do everything uh, as part of the it. system in the yeah. system sure so were you scared ki you know because it was all like the concept of ipl was new in the country especially hum normal logon ke liye janta ke liye to aap logon ke liye to of course it's still playing the game but the entire structure new body running it it was not bcci at that point of time right uh, were you scared taking it up at that point of time not scared nervous koi uh, uh-huh. bhi nervous hoga but jo halat the because uh, cricket mein i mujhe pata tha ki meri body abhi give up kar rahi hai and then family background and obviously responsibilities aap uh-huh. kuch aur karna hi tha so uh-huh. i had to take a jump into something else and uh, fortunately uh, ipl bhi naya tha ha. kuch purani property nahi thi jisme so i was nervous but mujhe ye bhi pata tha ki yaar ye sab kuch naya hai to sabke liye naya hai ha. sirf mere liye naya nahi hai so i said okay ha. let's go and try it kya hota hai sab dheere dheere systems hum hi banayenge basically ha because 2008 mein ipl jab start ho raha tha it was a ha. new concept ha. everything was new and ha. everything new means even if you have systems in place if you have regulations in place for the bo- governing body ipl governing body or the teams everything was new they were it was on paper but in in uh, in, in reality it was get, starting from 2008 and whatever it's like a uh, trial and error teething phase period and would have set up tone for the coming years you know so i knew that you know it's new so let me jump into it because i'm also uh, uh, retiring and i need to look at something and i think if it's new they are learning i am also learning 
So it was okay. a good uh, decision. I was nervous, and hmm. uh, obviously, first two years it was a lot of grind. And there, there, you just along with the system, new system, you also grew. You know, you also learned a lot of things. It was tough, but uh, it was fun. The world knows and it was a good decision. <laughs> I am sure. <laughs> No, I mean obviously it was it meant moving from Delhi to Bombay and Delhi. Then, oh so, yeah, you made that. Shift so I played all Delhi. my cricket in Delhi. So पहले दो तीन साल तो मैं up and down करता था. छः महीने यहाँ रहता था, छः महीने दिल्ली रहता था. But weekends पे जाता था, फिर आता था. And after IPL, then couple of months मैं घर पे दिल्ली रहता था. But it was different because and now fortunately because system नया था, IPL was starting new. Hmm. It gave me an opportunity to absorb a lot of things and hmm. no one was judging you. anyone who's played cricket and then getting involved around the game hmm. the way the game is played or the way the system runs around the cricket doesn't change so like when we play we used to play games when we used to play a season we used to play six months and then you would play a game then you'll have three days off and then the next four days off and then the hmm. next game would start and then after that you'll play another game and then you'll have a break and that's how and then after the season was over there was off season similarly IPL was like two months, three months of you playing my uh, playing a match, and then you have two days off, and you playing, and that season gets over, then you have a time off. So it was for me, it came came out well because all throughout my playing days from the age of thirteen till thirty five, it was all about playing, and then off season, then playing again. It was not like nine to five. So IPL is hectic. Three months is really a lot of work. post ipl you have couple of months to relax and then you start building up again from september so it is it is a format of working is also the same the way we used to play uh, or playing career you know like from mm. whatever years donkey years we played it was more or less the same so i have mm. well settled in that you know mm. i would have it would have been really difficult if it was like going to office every day 9 to 5 and setting because that i'm not used to a nor any any cricketer would be used any. to it on that note sorry i'm interrupting you but you know i remember you talking to you telling me about how how different it was because you were always on the ground as a cricketer right and when ipl started you actually went to an office for the first time and you actually i think you opened a laptop or whatever for the first time and you know to what was that experience like mind shift and what are the things that you i mean a lot of people see you you know going sitting for the ipl auction for mumbai indians and people see you on ground and people you know all of that but actually there's a lot of work involved in the in the back end right what was that like when you shifted from being a cricketer to it's a career shift and i want to know how did you kind of make your head work around it see so it was tough because as far as the game is concerned you knew ki kya game mein kya chalta hai because you played it for so many years you know knew what exactly the game is all about you knew what is the requirements of the players because you've been a player you know what exactly works for a player and what exactly works for a team and what is required for a team for them to conduct their game on the mm. ground so mm. being a player that came naturally and in fact it came to a came in a way that when i played uh, my game and whatever mm. issues or problems were there i thought could have been done better mm. i tried to uh make sure that those things are taken care of here so to make it better sure. you know because sure. 14 years aap khelte ho aapko lagta hai acha management ko ye karna chahiye tha maan diye karna chahiye ye sari cheeze suvidha provide karni chahiye it could this part could be better that the part so fortunately because game khela tha it came naturally yeah Haan. the tough part was because we were not used to sitting and putting notes together and putting an excel sheet or Haan. writing down everything it's like you know what we want to do agendas and then post tournament feedbacks and what sub was a difficult emails, part. Emails. and then and presenting to the bosses and all that that part was difficult but i was fortunate that management has been really kind our uh, uh, ipl family and the mother family and all that they gave us enough time to learn and they also helped us in learning how to sure. how to how to do things and they were okay with mistakes they said everyone makes mistakes so that you'll we'll keep learning so initially the first two three years for the mind to absorb that it was difficult because that you see all i mean mere sare colleagues jinke sath main khelta tha wo ipl khelte the so wari team mein bhi tha harbhajan singh sachin un sab ke sath main khela hua tha 
या बाकी हाँ। लड़के जो थे सबके साथ हम खेलते थे और मैं अभी ये काम कर रहा हूँ वो अभी भी खेल रहे हैं हाँ। so, वो टफ होता था एक्सेप्ट करना कि आपका सारा कलीग आपके दोस्त लोग सब खेल रहे हो और आप यहाँ बैठ के रोप के इस साइड वो ग्राउंड में और आप इधर बैठ के सब कुछ हाँ। एनालाइज कर रहे हो या आप उस पर सिस्टम्स पुट कर रहे हो ये सब कुछ कर रहे हो तो टफ लगता था बट ऑब्वियसली एनवायरमेंट इतना अच्छा था कि दैट हेल्प यू इट्स एनवायरमेंट इज गुड एनी वेदर इट्स अ गेम और अ कॉपरेट वर्ल्ड आई फील इट्स ऑल अबाउट द एनवायरमेंट रेस्ट एवरीथिंग फॉल्स इन प्लेस सो हमारा एनवायरमेंट बहुत अच्छा है और थैंक्स टू आर ओनर्स दे मेड श्योर दैट एनवायरमेंट इज सो गुड दैट वी ऑल वर्क टुगेदर वी ऑल ट्राई एंड अचीव टुगेदर थिंग्स एंड एवरीवन मेक्स मिस्टेक्स एंड दे एक्सेप्ट मिस्टेक्स एंड दे वी ऑल मूव ऑन दैट ओके नेक्स्ट टाइम वी गॉट टू डू बेटर सो वो रियली हेल्प किया एंड दे गिव आई मीन I was fortunate that they knew, they understood that I'm coming from a cricketing background. It would be very different, difficult, and uh, won't that won't be that easy to settle down uh, straight away. But they understood that what is required for this game, uh, mm. uh, because which is actually wonderful, because, because they, know they that, themselves yeah. are, don't come from a like a sport oriented family so, like that. Huh. So that was a plus point that they know. Okay, this guy is a cricketer, so he understands cricket. The rest he will learn. and hmm. that falling i mean that came in place uh, naturally over a period of time interesting interesting this is like this is so much of information and i'm sure people especially people who are interested in cricket would love would be you know would be so interested in hearing this tell me you know so you know you you become part of a team uh, and you start running that team which go on to become one of the most one of the most successful sporting brands in the world now right mumbai indians is from a brand value perspective forget about i'm not even talking about the number of times you guys have won the ipl and all of that stuff uh but when you are running a team you're also managing so many successful people together uh what toll does it take on you as a leader as someone who's kind of you know taking care of uh, this thing not just toll i mean how do you manage so many people who are so many successful people i like i can give you a parallel of my life when you work with artists right they're all successful people and how do you manage to kind of work around their heads because they're all like even in mumbai indians it's a fabulous lineup of uh, you know athletes yeah, uh, yeah you you are all the best from the world Yeah. Like initially, yes, but fortunately, because I played the game and I played along with them, it made mm. it easy. Because it had someone else been in my place who's not not played cricket and was managing all these big names, probably sure. it would have been difficult. But for me, like the first few years, the big players were such as Harbhajan, uh, uh, Malinga, Sanat Jaisuria, and then later on, a few others came in. They were young boys. So I played along with all of them. With them, so they the were friends. Way. So with them or against them, so we knew each other. And huh. Harbhajan has always been from childhood days. We have known him. Sachin huh. played with him. I had a good rapport. Sanat and playing against Sri Lanka, played against him, hmm. and Malinga as well. And so the rapport was there. And even eventually, like with every year, we had new players coming in. So they were all the guys who played first few years were all the guys I had played against in my circuit because I had retired, but they were still playing. Yeah. Whether they were thirty plus or they were youngsters, so like Shikhar, that one came in uh, in two thousand ten. But Shikhar mm-hmm. and we had played first class cricket for Delhi for a long oh, time. Oh, have you? He was a he was a junior player. He just started, and uh-huh. I was almost thirty plus. So almost five years we had played against each other. Okay. Uh, similarly, many other players who came in with the system and the coaches as well. So we all played against each other. So when you played against each other or played with someone or you've been in the circuit, uh, uh, you understand. what they are made of and what do you need to do hmm. and try and make it very comfortable and more like a family environment uh, and hmm. not like a professional environment so it worked really well i i i agree with you that yes it is tough uh, but honestly because being from the same background and having played so many years and played for the country and played again with or against them it kind of uh, it was more like i'm part of them hmm. and i'm also going on to the ground along with them and understanding them that way as and getting things done you know and challenges is always be there when mm-hmm. while you are playing when we were playing cricket every day there was a situation which was coming up which you had to address like different mm-hmm. uh, like say the batsman is scoring a lot of runs or the team is really going doing well yeah. and you have to break that partnership or you have to try and stay there when someone is bowling against so different situations were coming every day while you were playing so the similarly i took it in the same way that when the game is on or when any mm-hmm. activity or any event is happening challenges will be there there will be situations coming up and you handle them because you've been around in that game for so many years 
basically whatever you do in life you should know your shit <laughs> Yeah. you should no, know it happens yeah. it comes naturally it is a progression it is when mm. you get into something like for you mm. you given 10 years or 15 years so now you know back of your mind it comes spontaneous yeah certain situation yeah. come your mind reacts accordingly and it it's uh, it it reacts accordingly and it finds a solution accordingly you know yeah. and even in the business world now if i relate to that like uh, when when kids study uh, uh, business administration and then they do mbas and all they grind it so much that whenever the situation comes they have an answer ready because yeah. they have done so many yeah. case studies x y z they have tuned their mind to a in a fashion that whenever anything comes going forward because every day there is a new situation coming up but whatever base or foundation they have built up and yeah. progressed on that that helps you in handling uh, any next situation that comes in the way similarly in the game or in any other event so hmm. uh, we've been fortunate that our owners are the top corporate uh, uh, of india and one of the best corporate uh, uh, tycoon uh, and and the systems are already in place because reliance mm. works on the best best practices mm. and those best practices we uh, we were fortunate to uh, been discussed and uh, told about and practice in 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 mi and that's the reason mi is a different team because of systems and processes are so well set in this team that now it's just about going through that system and things happen you know and we able to find good talent that we able to manage situation and all that stuff interesting in fact you know this this was supposed to be my next question that you know as as both as an athlete and as somebody who now kind of runs teams right uh what is the importance of discipline and now at an individual level uh, because you didn't come from a sports family uh, sports taught you discipline right in some sense and now you kind of thrive on it because you have to run probably one of the strongest teams in the world uh, what is that importance of discipline and systems and processes and how do you ensure it ki aap usko normal life mein bhi implement karte ho in your family with your kids or like just generally yourself if you if you have to get more things done yeah in your life then you need to have systems in place yes. and discipline personally for me is some it, it to each his own it is different for everyone you could have a player who like doesn't wake up in the morning but then he comes to the ground his commitment is different or you could have someone who's like who cannot play without getting up early doing his rituals of prayers and other system which he has in place and then perform so it is different for everyone how they can switch on and switch off so for me discipline in the cricket field is about how quickly you can switch on and switch off sure because you playing a game today you might not have done well you expected to play a game in two days time you cannot go with that mindset in the next game so how quickly you can switch on or switch off for me that is this discipline and to do that i think every player or everyone has its own way different ways of doing things i remember like our playing days i'm talking about pre ipl like as a team you play the game and then you sit together in the evening there were some players who would just stick to their rooms and do whatever they wanted to do they might read or they might talk to the family the certain players to unwind they had to step out they couldn't be sitting in the room all the time the certain players had or certain uh, players or coaches they had different ways of like someone to play the guitar someone like listening to music some people like some players wanted to go out step out and uh, you know uh, go to a bar have a drink meet uh, different people and unwind so that was all basically to switch off and switch on again the next day the discipline required to train and to perform would obviously what was obviously that because without that you don't reach this level that sure. discipline starts early age because you know that you have to practice this many hours you know that uh, you need to do this fitness program you know that you need to do all these things so i personally believe that any field it's any field whether it's cricket or sports or corporate world or a creative field everyone knows that if they want to do something in life they have to find their rituals or their way of doing things which will work for them and that's discipline for me it could mean i have come across cricketers like they played a game the next game is after four days they will not do anything they will not come for practice but on a match day just 20 minutes what they do before the game really works well for them but at times when they have come for practice before 
or maybe asked by the coaching staff to come and train, it didn't work well, well for them. So everyone has a different format or different mm. way of performing or different way of growing in their life. So as a team, I feel we believe that, you know, we, we did not interfere. Uh, what is discipline? I mean, I'm talking now as a team. So if we are running a team, what is discipline? You can't you you can't have hard and fast system or process for everyone or the same mm-hmm. process or standard routine for everyone, which mm-hmm. is there in schools nowadays that everyone mm-hmm. has to stand up at the same time, everyone has to sit at the same time. Everyone That's also attend, changing has to actually. <laughs> attend the same class at the same time, not in, in fact looking into what that kid actually wants at that time. So huh. in our system, what we practice is that uh, whatever they want to do, they should do. If they want practice, we organize practice. If they want to take rest, they take rest. End of the day, it's about how you can perform for the team. And if, as long as the players are performing, we are happy and that's our discipline. So, personally, discipline is very different for everyone. And to say that, you know, the old style, we were brought up with saying that we need to put in this many hours or we need to wake up very early in the morning uh, to set yourself going and then you can achieve a lot in life. I think that's all changing. I think... Someone like me, when I played my cricket, I used to wake up early, but now I can't wake up early. But I still do what I have to do and still move on. And I know kids in my daughter's class, they wake up early. Some who don't wake up early, but at the end of the day, the end result is they still achieve what they want to achieve. So I'm very not, uh, I mean, when someone says discipline, I get okay. This would be like, okay, standard format, everyone has to do this and do that. It doesn't work like this. Discipline is each, for each, it is its own and uh, they figure, I mean, everyone figures out what best works for them. Tell me, as, a, as an athlete, if I have to ask you, uh, how do you switch on and off? And I mean, that can be pretty much applied to life also. How do you switch on and off to failures? So you fail, you fail a match, you lose a match, right? And But then you have to still come back and, you know, play another match two days later next day. How do you what do you do? What do you say to your mind to to be able to get up and say? I mean, of course, ekat bar hota hai, you can say. But so, a lot of times in sports, you do lose a lot of matches, right? Uh, yeah. So, kai bar hota hai ki aap uh, team nahi perform karte, but uska matlab ye nahi ki wo players ground pe perform nahi karne ke liye utre. Wo perform karne ke liye utre. So then you aap dekhte ho ki kya chize falter kar rahe, kis chize mein falter kar rahe? Is it uh, kisi player ki technique ka issue hai, ya is it team ko issue hai? Team mein koi issue hai ki players gel nahi kar rahe, player ki aapas mein ban nahi rahe, ya game mein kya errors kar rahe hum jo. So we figure all that out and as a team, hum sab discuss karte hai. and then we move on and try and break that barrier ki ye last time ye barrier tha, iske karan nahi hua. Acceptance aati hai ki it's not like ki one man telling and everyone has to go and execute. It is buying in that the entire team believes that yes, this is what has gone wrong. This is what we need to rectify and at the same time standing uh, with each other, not complaining and saying, okay, it's nice, it's nice, it's like sticking together and not backbiting or trying to put the blame on anyone because we don't let that happen because we believe it's a team game. Match kill row, kabi soran bante, kabi doso bante, kabi this, teen so bante. So, situations are not that the player doesn't want to perform. Player to goes out to perform. But on that day, agar asa hota ki hadin agar a player perform karta, then uh, Sachin Dendulkar would have got about uh, the greatest player would have got 50,000 runs. But he also had his share of failures. So failures will come. And that's part of part of the game. The key part is you can analyze it, how you keep the team sure. in the same way, and how you keep every player who is in the team buying it. So he has to understand that this problem. He can't trust it. 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 So her team ke failures are there. अगर हमारे फेलियर्स नहीं होते तो हम अब तक सारे टूर्नामेंट्स जीत जाते हैं बट अभी तक 14 सीरीज में पांच ही टूर्नामेंट जीते हैं बट मेन तो अब कहने का मतलब कि यू ट्राई टू बी द बेस्ट और उसमें चैलेंजेस आते रहते हैं चैलेंजेस को एड्रेस किए जाते हैं समटाइम्स इट वर्क्स समटाइम्स इट डजंट वर्क एंड देन यू मूव ऑन एंड नेक्स्ट ईयर यू ट्राई एंड रेक्टिफाई दैट अगेन एंड पुट अ बेटर टीम अप एंड ट्राई एंड प्ले द टूर्नामेंट अगेन सो फेलियर्स इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज़ दैट कीप्स यू ग्राउंडेड आल्सो आई थिंक how, how do fail. you switch on and off to failures? Like, what is your technique to switch on and off? Of course, uh, I mean, I would love to hear that. So, I, my nature is that I don't say much, I'm calm. I'm calm. I don't see much reaction on my face. Huh. But I have my ways of uh, releasing my, my pressures. Uh, obviously, I have my ways of releasing my pressures. 
being at home with family that's uh, very important fortunate to have a good family my wife is a very strong headed person so i get support from her i have good She's friends uh, parents and my brother i mean we are a joint kind of family so that's one part Huh. I like playing golf so that's a de stress for me so uh, it's know, just because I have a big gang I, of people that you play yeah, with right yeah so I, I think personally after cricket because we so used to playing a ball game huh. and while playing cricket you're playing a ball game and you you have to be physically rigorous like running and all but yes. with age you can't do that but golf gives you that opportunity you're still hitting a ball you're playing a huh. ball game and mm. you don't have to be physically that active so it it's it gives you that feel that you're still playing a game so it, it's a proper stress buster and it is it's good fun you know being on the course you, your mind gets completely unwind and uh, the other things is just being honest to yourself you know okay if you made a mistake you made a mistake mm. Mm. and accept it rather than make trying to uh, give excuses and all. and try and accept it and rectify it and if you've not made a mistake then try and figure out who's made a mistake and try and sort it out so this acceptance is very important i think uh, that's how you s- for me switch on is when everything is fine switch off is so there are two ways of looking at it one is when the tournament is on which is mm. switch on switch off on a daily basis where you unwind mm. and then you move on and then rest is throughout the year where whatever you do do you need mm. to switch on while you're working and then switch off at times switch off is easy but switching on to get back to work is is very uh, easy to get that moment because yeah. because again as as i said as a cricketer you just played the game and then doing all the other parts of the game sometimes you switching on becomes tough but sure. once once you push yourself okay let's get into it and then automatically the mind starts taking over and then you into it switch off is kind of easy i mean it's today you have so many avenues to switch off you could listen to music you can watch movies you could be playing a sport you know accessibility is so easy uh, mm. or or you could like sometimes you now with age i've realized that yoga is meditation is also important and then you try different things and try and learn different things that's also a way to switch off uh, but the, during the tournament uh, when the things are going well you don't need to switch off because you want a high it is only when the things are not going well that's the time yeah if you are continuously switched on you are a disaster a further disaster okay. for the team so sure. that's the time you have to let it go it's what more can you do so when you let it go then probably new ideas come in and but if you are just when you're switched okay. on and you're doing doing really well you're switched on it is a high and the momentum is there and then everything continues so still that acha hai but jab acha nahi ho raha then that's the time you need to sleep over things give yourself some more time hmm. don't let it because when things are not going well there's a lot of negative energy obviously mm. it happens mm. it's a team mm. it's not just one person it is almost like 50 people in the team and mm. the entire energy has to be nice so that's the time you need to switch off i think kabhi mm. bhi life mein koi acha nahi chal raha switch off karna bahut zaruri hai and it's, you, it's sleep over it yeah and it's interesting you say you saying sorry it's interesting you saying this because you know one of my previous episodes one of the other guests who'd come in actually talk about talked about this unhustle culture right and we spoke about that especially post a failure you need to take that time off to process that failure what went wrong kya galat hua how can i make it better and stuff like and you're actually in your own version in your sports language or whatever you're saying pretty much the same thing yeah and also i think uh, whatever you do keep it simple jitna simple rakhoge usme failures aur utna stress nahi hoga jitna complicated hoga jab failures aate hain to us pe utni complications aate hain sure. so jitna jitni cheeze simple rakh sakte ho what so do you mean by cheeze simple rakh sakte ho simple as in don't complicate just stick to your basics keep doing your basics and that's the mm. foundation which which makes you whatever you are stick sure. to your basics Sure. and just continue doing them and you'll progress but when you try and do something out of the box which is you require to do that but you drift away from your basics which could be in the game or in life or whatever and think you're larger than something and try and do different things and mm. when the failures come you don't know how to handle it mm. so but when you are strong with your basics and you're strong with your simplicity of doing things and all so failures come you you are able to go back to your routine and basics and bounce back much easier in an easier way so that's that's how i look at things you know? okay we're going to wrap this up with last two questions okay um 
as 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 the team manager of one of the biggest sporting brand in the world what are your three biggest learnings in the last 12 13 years of running mumbai indians so uh, number Two, one three learnings is, huh number one nothing is permanent sure so like as i said cricket khelte the lagta hi nahi tha ki kabhi retire honge ya kabhi bude honge Huh. and now even in ipl not that every year you gonna win so that thing is common huh. number 2 keep things simple stick to basics systems are very important so if you have a system in place and a right team things work it is hmm. not in a team game it's not about an individual so it's about the team so for a team to operate systems are very necessary so i think uh, systems are very important for any team activity even whether it's even management and also So that's uh, uh, number two. Number three is uh, I think you need to give importance to the job that is required to get done. So, which what I mean by that is basically you have a team. Everyone is a star. Everyone has a, a glamour element or stardom around him, and we need to respect that. Give them that space and give them that importance. That's what the players per se. Then you have the management, which is working around. Everyone is trying to do the best. You need to give importance to everyone, even if people below you. So, I think that's very key, very important for a system, for a for a for a unit to work, for a team to work. So, those three things are important to me. At an individual level, what are your learnings? Uh, as you know, in the last twelve years, what have been your? Tell me what. Is there something that I can learn from you? Uh, you know, in the last twelve years, what are the three learnings? Three biggest of your learnings at an individual level. Uh, so I've said it, it. Whether it's a corporate level or team level or individual level, for me, more or less, it's the same. Keeping things sure. simple. Huh. Keeping things simple is very important. I, I mean, you keep things. Stick to your basics. Stick to your foundation. Sure. And keep things simple, and that is very important. Uh, and that. to uh, uh, to i mean uh break it up it means that family is important because mm. that's how you are because you're born in a family and then you grow to make your life but that family support is very important so that's part of keeping things simple there always stick to your family uh number 2 uh our adversities will keep coming because sure it's a challenge whether it's a uh in life or in sport or anything or in personal adversities will come all kind of us even in work environment though everything looks nice from outside but everyone goes through challenges in work environment as well and family life as well but you got to accept it those things will come and don't let it go come in, in the way while those adversities are there or because at times your ego takes over because you say we well, might be or whatever you doing so That's number two. Whether it's work or life, or at mm. home or, or in a personal capacity, that's mm. that's what I was trying to say when I said right. that, you know uh, in the first three things which I mentioned. And rest is enjoy. That's you got to enjoy life. Simple. Keep simple. Everything keep simple. And go back. Don't to get your carried away. Don't get carried away with things around you. So, yeah. 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 Interesting. that was that was quite a quite an interesting chat i don't think so i've ever had this kind of a conversation before with you and i'm so glad you know because of the podcast i kind of got to speak to you about so many things of your life which i think i even i didn't know about it before well you need to spend more time with me to know that because you are you are so busy all throughout your life that you hardly get time to sit and relax though we are in the same city yeah. like you we are all in the same city in delhi but we didn't get that much chance to meet up yeah. or be uh, i mean talk and all and same is happening in bombay everyone is busy in their own life i'm going to make it a point to meet you more often <laughs> but the good thing is that our vibes uh, connect and uh, yes. and and that, that that's the reason that we keep connected you know yes 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 and it was it was so nice to have this chat with you uh, thank you so much uh, i hope uh, everybody who's listening to this kind of got a glimpse to the other side of what it goes behind uh, other side of people you know who are running some of one of the biggest teams in the world of sports and also at an individual level the human being that goes into making some of some of the uh, sports that we all see 
Thank you so much. Thank you Anshu and wish you all the best. If you've enjoyed this conversation, please make sure you hit the like button, comment what was your favorite part and also subscribe to the channel. We have lots of fantastic people coming up. This podcast is available on your podcast app by the name Questions I Wanted to Ask. You can also follow me on social media for more updates, short format content. Links will be in the description.